Probably just outside somewhere, because they can't be in this room. I'm so good at puzzles. This is very puzzling. And now she's just sitting here. Like I said, she's teleporting. She has superpowers. Hey, maybe I can... Oh. <laughs> I thought maybe I could axe up the ATM machine, but that would be dumb. In every possible... Oh. Maybe it's outside. Let's go speak to this guy. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? This guy is shifty, and it's probably a terrible idea, but Let's sure. Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. Oh, boy. Let's go back inside. We're just going to attract them. Oh, that's wonderful. He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all he care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Yep. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Oh yeah, sure, I'm gonna axe the log. That sounds like the biggest... We can look at this guy. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. us, huh? Oh my god. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Nope. He could be a... He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? Oh my god. I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Oh, uh, that's... no. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Yep. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. That is true. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Photo. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get It's them. this brother. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Sure, let's let's find. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh boy. Hey, there's this... Dude... <laughs> I'm gonna use the remote on this, but first let's look. Is full of TVs and electronics. Okay, let's, let's rock. How does this work? I have no idea. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Huh. It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. Well, it is because there's life. You can just do that. But first, we open this. Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Oh, great! Well, fucking done, Doug. All that dark nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Oh, caught his attention. I got a few of them to take notice. Okay. So a few of them are distracted. 
don't seem too distracted. They're coming here. Well. Yeah, they're... Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now they're just wandering. Those TVs are on. And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Oh, we need to somehow shoot the glass. Did you guys try to get in? Oh there yeah, we know that. Weapons. I did, but it was too risky. And then a Not bunch of guys, guys showed up, up and, and they tried. And what happened? They're the zombies. Well, they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Without the surprise. Okay, so maybe uh maybe I just have to go back in and borrow the gun. Don't I still have the gun? No. It's a combination lock. Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. No? Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we don't. <laughs> we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Huh, yeah. <laughs> the remote will work. <laughs> Open sesame. <laughs> that won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that yet. <laughs> I know, Doc. <laughs> this is fun. I'll try to go shoot the TVs. Let's head back inside. Okay. And if I can borrow the gun, I'll just axe it. Because with the gun, I could just shoot through the TVs. Let's go ask for her gun. Hey there. Sort of the century here. Nah, no, okay. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. We will. Okay, you know, it's not gonna work. Let's go back outside. How we doing? Good. Wanna go have a look around outside? Yeah. Let's have a look around. Okay. If I ax this, though, the zombies are going to come in, and that is not fun. So I'm going to have to just make sure everything is alright. Because See, because I'd have to go break the glass. I know that. But then what do I do? Do I just walk there and break the glass? Like, the zombies will notice me way more than they notice the sound of the TVs. And... That's Lee's brother. A few seconds of searching him, we'll know if he has the keys. Those things like TV? Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. I know, but how do... Eh. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? <laughs> I just ended up here. Ah, uh, whatever. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Let's see if he's going to stop me. Please stop me. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Okay, I had to do this, though. I feel stupid. <laughs> That's open. I, is, if this guy dies, I'm gonna feel bad. Oh, what is this? A brick! Well, I know what I gotta do. Brick time! Oh yeah! TV. 
This is an analogy for what television does to our modern society. Now's the time. <laughs> okay, let's let's go. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Now we're gonna go axe our little brother. Oh, isn't it awesome? I'm sorry, bro. 